words. It's time. Hello, everybody. Cyanesk111 here, and welcome back to more Civilization VI New Frontier Pass as Portugal. I'm getting myself some oil now. I am going to send my Lisbon trade route to uh, Nuremberg. And look at that! I got me a Golden Age in the last part. Um, I'm going to do the Heartbeat of Steam Golden Age bonus. I'm still suffering a lot of pride from me having a Golden Age in in quite a while. I'm gonna go ahead and do chemistry next. I still want my... I still want to keep my science up with the rest of the world. And I'm going to do holy sight prayers in Lisbon. Just for a little extra faith. And I'll get a temple in Evora, too. Um, this is most likely going to be my last part of Civilization VI New Frontier Pass as Portugal for until my 800th video special is out. After which, I will get back to this game and see what else I can do for a religious victory. Um, I've decided to... Okay. So, Kublai Khan hates my guts now because I have different governments than his civilization has. Well, there's not much I can do about it for right now. Oh. Solikamsk. Oh dear. And I... Man, if I... I was well aware that whether you get a Golden Age or a Dark Age in the next era could have an effect on loyalty for your cities and nearby cities, too. But not quite by this much, I'm afraid. And as always, uh, I'm gonna do Pilgrim. I'm going to get a water park in Copan now. And I've met the city state of Akkad. Or Akkad. However you want to pronounce it. I think my next religious conversion focus should be Byzantium. As it is the closest civilization other than me to Germany, and I've already converted Germany into Confucianism, including its holy city, too. There's that. I don't really know how well my... I don't really know how Russia's rebelling city is going to affect whether I have made Confucianism the dominant religion of Russia. I'm going to assume it's negative. I might want to leave it a free city. I only understand I Okay. OK, 
Okay, so the top apostle can gain three spreads when it moves to the... Yeah, this is the Matterhorn. It'll gain three spreads when it moves near there. I'm going to work my way towards capitalism. Two volcanoes. I wonder if another... Oh. I already discovered all civilizations other than myself. Everyone wants my oil. I'll accept it this time because I've got to get the gold necessary for for if I need to protect myself. Okay, Congo is praising my military, even though they hate my guts. Okay, my faith accumulation is going very good. It's rising again. Well, it's just a reminder. Okay, why'd you have to go there like... Okay, it's the mountain tunnel. Well, my Apostle has fulfilled its promotion bonus. Gain three spreads for... Gains three extra spreads when moving adjacent to a natural wonder for the first time. As it would give me the same pleasure. Oh. Enemy spy from an unknown civ have saluted, capture, and escaped your city of Braga. Well, I don't really know what it did. I don't know if I should put a counter spy in there or something. Well, I'm not really caring for the diplomatic favor. I just want the religious victory. Now, if if another civilization has already did has already done a type of victory that is other than the one I'm going for, do I still get the victory type that I'm going for? I don't know. Chemistry is the dirt. Okay, the thing that kind of sucks is that... Or... No, my Apostles can move somewhat freely in the water. Colossal heads for faith, baby. I'll go ahead and do radio next. Uh, 
I really doubt that there are any more city-states I have yet to meet. Whether they have come from a barbarian clan or not. Okay, after this, no more giving away oil. Oh. It's from Lisbon this time around. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I should consider putting in some counter spies in either Lisbon or Braga. Or any of my other cities, depending on what happens next. With spies escaping my civilization. It's Red Reef. It's not nearby. So it shouldn't be very much of a concern to me. Oh, Sandstorm. I have filled a water bag from my people and gone to the desert and walked empty wastes while the wolf howled like a gambler whose family starves. Oh, this is the Sahara El Beida. Okay, I've converted Nicopolis to Confucianism before, but unfortunately that Confucianist status has been lost since. So it looks like I'll have to reconvert it at some point. Well, converting Edessa was easy, at least. An erupting volcano. Uh, I actually met another city-state. Octavio got another... got another up promotion. Okay, it's the Gazar Gamu city-state. That is in eastern Siberia. On the peninsula of eastern Siberia, I should say. Oh, there's actually two different dust storms occurring. One is Haboob and the other is Gradient. No, it's also Haboob. I'll go ahead and steal... Now I'm not going to have enough time. I'll just do a listening post for now. Want to know all about him. Should be getting the... the historic moment for circumnavigating the world very soon. Uh... Fun little story. I actually got the achievement El Cano's Revenge for this game, where you have to actually be the first player in the world to circumnavigate the world after the great person Ferdinand Magellan has been recruited by another Civ. That's something I didn't know that you could do. 
at the time I got the achievement, I didn't really know that it was actually an achievement. I was a bit thrilled to see it myself. Oh. So look, I'm Skaz rebelled. But I still don't want it to join my sieve. Oh. Armag. Well, what do you know? I tell a story about the Elcano's revenge achievement. And I got the world's first circumnavigation. Now, here's my question. Would I have gotten this achievement once again? Uh, da, da, da. I believe Ferdinand Magellan was a great... was a great admiral. I think he was. This could take a while to check. Nah, I doubt he's in there. I don't know if he's even in the game. This game. Okay, we're just spreading Confucianism like no one's business. We're gonna spread it to the edge of the universe and back at this rate. If we keep this up, that's for sure. I think we're gonna have Byzantium converted to Confucianism earlier than I thought we would. I mean, look, Edessa is growing in Confucianism A world without influence. at some point. Yeah, I'm getting some more apostles in there. That's what having a good amount of faith can do with can do for you. Musulum Amurabi Dunku Sanum de Pesuta. So I don't know how I am copying Hammurabi. You have proved a reliable partner in resolving international conflict. Canada commends you. Apparently, I chose to see what Babylon what Hammurabi's agenda is at a bad time. Right when Lariar is thinking me. Hammurabi prefers to build each different kind of district and likes other civilizations who do the same. He dislikes those who focus heavily on one district type or who do not build all types available. Well, I've got the basics down, at least. You gotta praise me for that. Okay, with that listing post, let's go ahead and see. 
impressed by any civilization that earns a golden age, dislikes those in the dark ages, builds a large navy and respects civilizations who follow their lead, does not like civilizations with a weak navy. Oh no, return to game. Why did it bring up the menu? What the heck? Do an orator for both apostles. Gotta search every single nook and cranny for any new city-states I may have missed. Okay, let's... Okay, one of my apostles has used up all its spreads. Okay. No, you keep your epic. I don't want other civilizations to think I'm taking credit for their legends. Pretty much the only time I would want a great work of any kind, including an epic of a great hero, or, or yeah, hero, it's going to be for when I am getting a cult, trying to get a culture victory. But this is not the time for that. This is religious victory time. Okay, you go down there and help that Apostle convert Byzantium into Confucianism. Frankfurt can give me some more gold. So I can maintain my facilities better. Okay, so when this decides to join my civilization, I'll have to remember to leave it as a free city so Russia can have it back. Because I still don't know if this is going to affect whether... Okay, yeah, it has definitely affected whether Russia is at... Oh, no, you didn't. Okay, so the next time I get Apostles, then they're gonna have to go towards Russia again. I'll make sure to pay no attention to the holy city. I'm leaving no stone unturned. Oh, barbarians. Oh, it's down there. Rocketry. Rocket science has been. Okay, now where is that other apostle? Okay, it's right here. No worries. Wow, I'm I'm meeting city states left and right. This time it's Nazca.
No rewards for me. Okay, I wasn't trying hard enough for that. But maybe next time. Oh, and the World Congress is about to reconvene, I see. Cultists are from China. Well, that apostle's been used up. It didn't do much, but oh well. Okay, Cyrus is praising me for my gold income, at least. Uh, not really. Gotta use my oil in some fashion. Also, I kind of don't like how abruptly the music switches off and back on to another civilization's theme. It's kind of... It's making me think that the in-game audio is going to glitch out again. Even more so the more times it happens. until each of these cities convert. Okay, at least I can try to convert Amazea for now. World Congress. games as the competition this time around. I'm not going to participate. Thank you for asking. Yeah, I feel like that the more votes you give in World Congresses, then the more effective that part of whatever speech you, whatever part of speech that is going to be, will have. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Okay. Oh, climate change five. The release of atom power. Oh dear. This isn't going to be healthy for the world. I can say that much. How's the world climate looking? Everyone's generated some form of C some form of CO2 except me. Oh man. And I believe I have apocalypse mode enabled too. So I kind of I'm kind of scared to find out which cities are going to be impacted by the meteors first and which ones are going to be impacted last. I think the goal here is to try to keep the game going for as long as I possibly can if I want to get me a religious victory. Oh, there's the Golden Gate Bridge right there. 
Wow, Constantinople has a lot of wonders crowded over here. But it looks like that's all it has. Okay, maybe I can convert one of one more city in Byzantium to Confucianism before I end this part off. And I can start preparing for video 100, for video 800. I meant. I'll hit OK on that. Thessalonica. Maybe it is unwise to spy in the same city at a time consecutively. I'm gonna do Bach Tree next. Repeat the route. Okay, so it's half Buddhism, half Confucianism. Cyrus wants to establish an embassy in my capital. Maybe it's a sign that he knows what's coming. Maybe he secretly knows that a spy is coming for his city of Bactri. Now I'm thinking that the captions for YouTube are going to read it as back tree. B A C K T R E E. That's nothing that's still nothing I can help for right now. If you can walk away from a little. Oh, that's Confucianism for you. Or should I say, that's Confucian for you. I'll go ahead and do one more turn real quick. Then I'm going to go ahead and end this part off. This time for real. I promise. Okay, let's see what the rest of the world has to say about my actions. think that it is I don't really think any of the leaders are going to say anything to me at this time so even though I think I should oh hold on let me just reject that city real quick its true owner should be Russia and no one else
I'm going to refuse city. Oh, but that means... Oh, dear. Oh, I'm starting to wonder if I should have kept it. I don't know. It's it's kind of scary. Should I have kept that city? I don't know. I'm a bit frightened now. Okay, this is going to be the last turn, I promise you, for this part. For real, for real. Man, this, this game is so addictive. I can see why Civilization's slogan can be just one more turn. It it gives you all the all of these opportunities to to write history as you see fit, while the AI opponents try to get in the way of you having a prosperous nation. Huh. This is my path, and no one's going to even try to dissuade me from it. Like, my path is... My path is going for a religious victory. Okay, three out of... Okay, so it looks like I got Russia back as a... Back under my majority religion. But probably not for long. I still think I may want to get a few Apostles over there before their city of Kazan reverts back to Eastern Orthodoxy again. But a bit more on that later. For right now, I think I am going to go ahead and prepare to record my 800th video special. Mega Man Maker Level Pack that someone has requested to me a while back. So, until then, thanks everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.